All right, so what we've got today is we've got a 65 sunroof model bug. Um, people think that they should get a sunroof model for the same price you get a hard top for. And to be honest, it costs a lot more money to actually put that sunroof, fix the stuff on the sunroof, and a lot more time. So, uh, no, they don't sell for the same price. Um, so, let's take a look at the car. This car is in really nice shape. It's uh, it's not a 10 out of 10 restoration. It's a nice looking daily driver uh, quality, very high quality daily driver. Probably I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of eight and a half or a better out of 10. Yeah, it's got nice, good rubber on the tires. If you were to build this car, you could never build it uh, this nice for what I'm selling it for. So, these are original, original tail lights. They're better quality than the aftermarket ones. That's why I point that stuff out. Uh, this is equipped with a alternator and a German pulley on there. It's not a cheap one. These are better quality. Um, the engine is rebuilt all the way through. Uh, it has uh, a also has a uh, 009 copy uh, electronic ignition so it's pointless it's just a pointless ignition it's not a high energy um, just so you know these holes should be filled in um, before it's driven much I haven't driven it that much only in town so um, those should be done and typically I don't drive a car unless it's got those holes filled in so um, the bumpers I don't know if they're original or reproduction but they're not new okay uh, the exterior paint is uh, original color they match the original and uh, basically the interior and exterior paint is it's all redone body works all done right there's no Mickey Mouse Bondo over paint or anything like that done on the body work everything's done the right way uh, the whole gas tank has been removed. I think it was actually replaced before I got the car. It has a nice looking bias pie spare. Um, the underneath here, so you guys can see, no major damage. But if you'll notice, the body tag is missing. So keep that in mind. Don't have one that's a killer for you then maybe you should just look for a different car but anyway let me show you how nicely the hood shuts on this car this is something that's pretty amazing you can just drop it down like this push it well, usually it just goes right in it's because it's on an angle on the hill right now it just drops right into the hole so that's how well it lines up um, I'm not gonna say it's never been in an accident it's a Volkswagen most of them have so, at some point, I got a big fly on there. So, let's take a look at the front bumper. You can see here it has some patina. It's not a new bumper. Some of the headlight rings are older, they're not new. And some of that stuff being that stuff being new is not good. So, the uh, window rubber is all new from Wolfsburg West. High quality, the, uh, these trim pieces are all done stainless steel instead of the aluminum. High polished stainless steel. Original steering wheel uh, was restored. Still has some signs of hairline cracks. Really nice, I love to drive a car like that. I, a brand new steering wheel does, just doesn't feel right in one of these. So. The uh, sunroof works as it should. However, this is a wire mesh that's up here instead of the original because they always had uh, problems with the sunroof getting caught in this groove. And if you want to continue having that, I do have the original panel. If you ask for it, I'll give it to you. The sunroof works perfectly. Winds up. I always take it very slow when you go to the close. Very nice and easy. Don't use the whole handle. Be very careful. These are very fragile sunroofs on these cars. Okay. The 
Interiors black. I don't know what the original color of the interior was. I believe this is Panama beige, but I don't know. It is the original color. Uh, whatever it did matched the um, inside of the door panels, underneath the door panels. Uh, there is, of course, whenever you have a sunroof car, there has been some rust repair done, but all of it's done uh, properly by welding in new panels and new stuff. And uh, the, the there is some patchwork in the floor. Um, we can look at that real quick. So, if you see here, there's some patchwork done in the floor, but you can see also that it's been welded in new metal. It's not just fiberglass or bondo um, on both sides of the car. And one of the things that's really important is we were able to re retain the original seat frames. So the sliding seat mechanism is still original. A lot of guys will put in cheap uh, reproduction uh, floor pan pieces and then when you step on the gas all of a sudden you find yourself in the back seat because the metal that's here is not the same quality as the original metal. So we were able to retain these original ones in this car. Door shut really nice. Have to give it a little bit of a hold it just like that. So both doors shut really good. The door gaps, those who are crazy about that stuff, uh, this is not the car for you if you want a perfect door gap. But these are in really good shape. This is actually, to me, normal Volkswagen stuff. If you're looking like a Vo like you're looking at a Chevy, then buy a Chevy. Don't buy a Volkswagen. So this one shuts really nice too. I'll have to give it a little more push. Shuts really nice. Uh, windows work good. When wings have these little guys on them, the original style ones. Um, seat frames are pretty good. I don't see any issues with those. Let's look at the floor on this side. I'll show you. So you can see, yeah, there was some patchwork done for the floor pans. And that's normal. If you find a sunroof car that doesn't have uh, patchwork on the floors, um, you better hang on to it or you better just figure out that it's not uh, original. It's probably been replaced at some point. Sometimes they just do the whole pan half and it, it's really hard to see when they do that. But if you, and like I said, you can have cheap pan halves put in and you can make them look good. And then, then it's not a, you know, set up as a driver. This car set up as a driver. All the brakes are all brand new. All the uh, hard lines and soft lines have been replaced. Uh, it does have original drum brakes on it, so it doesn't have disc brakes in this car. Uh, if you look at the firewalls, in good shape, been replaced. Uh, you know, everything's pretty tight. The wiring, this car runs fantastic. So let's take a look here. Fires right up, cold start, no problem. Just hit the gas once, and uh, typically. It'll just start right up. So, let's take a look at the engine while it's running. And for the price I'm asking for this car, really, you know, you could not build this car for that. Listen to that. It's still on choke, too. Valves could need, need to be adjusted probably one more time uh, to be done, and that's not a big deal. You listen to that thing for it, it just runs beautifully. Yeah. So, this is a 1384 original 40 horse engine with a 1384 kit, which makes it run like a 1500. So, it has nice power, it gets on the freeway. Uh, it, the cruising speed about 65 um, can accelerate to 70 no problem very quickly and pass somebody if you need to uh, great running car honestly uh, there really isn't anything else to show so that's it for the car if you're interested uh, be sure to comment uh, look on the Samba there'll be an ad running for this car um, and uh, 
you know, it just, it, I hate to get rid of it, but I, I have three Volkswagens right now with this, including this car, three bugs, and I just, you know, I, I could use the space. It's not because I don't want the car, it's a great car. Um, everything works. Turn signals, like, stuff like that, all the lights work, all the turn signals work, all, everything works fine. Um, and even things like all the details are taken care of on this car, the front end's rebuilt. Um, you know, pretty much everything's been done, you know, on this car. Um, the thing that's nice on this on this car is, yeah, the speedometer was not rebuilt. It's still original. Um, so you can see it's a little bit cracked right there, which is normal on a rebuild. Um, but it, one thing that's nice about this car is things like the details that I put into here, like uh, I use the electronic uh, flasher relays, you know, just everything's done right. So figure that. But, you know, it's I'm not... I'm not asking a ridiculous price for it, so don't expect it to be, you know, a ridiculous car that's 100% show quality and all that other stuff. It's really nice, but it's just not quite there. Um, the radio here, uh, normally there's a, a, a opening for the radio, and then they have a patch panel. Um, on my cars, I don't run the, and there was some repair done to this here at some point, like they had opened it up for a bigger radio or something. And I don't want to put a radio in the car, um, so what I always do is I carry a Bluetooth speaker, and that's my radio, my cell phone, and my Bluetooth speaker, and that's it. So if you're wondering how to deal with that, that's how you do that. And then you have that nice, clean look of no radio. And uh, glove box works good, shuts, everything works. You know, even the heater in this car, all the stuff for the heaters here. Um, I believe it does blow hot air. I, I haven't ran it in the win in the winter, so I, I don't know how well. I know it was stuck on once, and I played with it a little bit and made it so it was turned off because I didn't want the heater on. But um, yeah, everything works. E brake uh, drives like there's no noise from the transmission. No 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 uh, no uh, the normal Volkswagen noise from the engine. Very quiet running. Um, so if you are out of state and you're interested in this car, um, I have a way to show you uh, that it's 100% where it is. And uh, I actually have a business. I'm not in the business of selling cars at all. Uh, it's something I do for fun. When I build these things, I sold a few of them. And I do have a way to assure you that the uh, car is where it is. Um, because I do have a business license and you can look on a .gov website and verify my address. So if you're interested in that, that would help you have some assurance that the car is legit. Uh, I would encourage you to do the same if you're looking at other ones. Uh, so anyway, this is the car driving up the street. And uh, it just... drives like really nice this is actually one of my best driving cars so but I do have some ones that I like a little bit more I have a 61 and no it's not for sale and I have a 60 60 ragtop that 61 hardtop and a 60 ragtop that I'm not selling so the sunroof's got to go all right well, I'll talk to you guys on the next video if you're just watching the video um, like share and subscribe watch some of the other stuff I do um, and this is a great deal. If you get this car, you're going to be really happy. Talk to you next video.